All right, everybody. I got a. I'm. I'm still working on this uh, video for the uh, brother 9340 laser printer scanner, and uh, I've got it mostly set up. Uh, I've got it set up on my laptop, and I have it set up on the iPhone. I still need to set it up on the desktop and uh, on the iPad. Uh, the the simple things. Uh, on Mac, at least you can use apps, and uh, that's what I just did. I set it up on uh, the app on the iPhone, and I just printed a photo from it, and uh, I was just trying to compare how it looked in comparison to uh, an original photo. But I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you that and kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, the original photo uh, is cropped some uh, blurring on the one side of the printed image, which I haven't seen on it before, not, not it, but on, on previous prints that I've tried printing with the, the new printer. So I don't think it's part of the printer, um, but in terms of the color and the clarity of how it printed in comparison to the original, it's pretty good. Let me show that. This is my little collage wall. And you can see where I have the two uh, pictures of the, of the eagles. So I'm going to zoom in on the eagles because that's the ones that I redid. And if we zoom in and we come closer up, here I'm going to step up onto the couch. So if we step up here and look, okay. That's the two images right there. And uh, really, I think uh, it's, it's pretty good. I think just looking at it, the detail in the laser printer is quite defined and probably a little bit better than in the original print that has now been on this wall for quite a few years. But I just kind of wanted to show you that, kind of give you an idea of how good that printer, the laser printer is. The printer prints closer to reality than the HP. I think the HP, uh, as beautiful as the print is, is not quite a reality type print. So I just wanted to share that with you and add this to the video. The installation of the software on the Mac is pretty simple. Uh, I, I did not use the, the CD that came with it. All I did was I went to their website and downloaded the drivers from their website. There's a print driver uh, and a, a, a Twain scanning driver. Downloaded those, works fine. I've downloaded it for my iPad, for my iPhone, and for uh, my wireless um, MacBook Pro uh, that doesn't have even a drive for it. So it worked great for my desktop. It, my desktop is a different uh, version of software and it downloaded and it recognized the version so it just downloaded it no problem and everything works fine. Um, and very simple to do. It's, it's not complex at all. You just got to go to the Brother website, 9340, and it'll pull it right up. You don't even have to put the MFC on it or the CDW. It'll, it'll find it, and then that'll be the one that you download the software for. Uh, in terms of the prints, I kind of showed you a couple of the prints there. It does do a good job. Um, the only thing I would say, um, it's a little bit slow in its warm-up time uh, as compared to the uh, HP. The HP seemed to get its first print out in about uh, 11 seconds. This seems to take about twice as long for the first print. And, um, and of course, if you're dependent upon the size of file you're doing wirelessly, it could take a while for it to download to it, which kind of surprised me because I did a higher end uh, photo um, and I think actually it was uh, the Eagle photo. I tried to tell it to print it at high quality and uh, a bigger format and it took a long time to get to the printer. Um, and I, I actually thought it wasn't working and then I saw it was printing and then I remembered, oh yeah, I told it or high quality image. So uh, take that aside. Um, I seem to be very happy with it at this point and we'll give you a little more feedback on it in a little while, in a few weeks or a few months, and we'll see how it goes. Um, and the reason I like the laser over the Epson inkjet, you know, I got this <clears throat> thinking, wow, man, look at the size of these cartridges. These things are gigantic. The problem with them is 
The problem with them is, uh, if you don't use a printer and you're using a home printer, these dry out. It dries out on the print head. So that's why the magenta went south on me. Um, I would imagine over time these would as well. But when this went bad, or the print head went bad, basically kaputs this thing because the print heads are not uh, easily uh, removed and replaced. With a laser, it's all dry. So they're not gonna dry out on you. So I think this will last me longer. Costs more up front, you know, probably, well, more than twice that thing did up front. Uh, so this was on sale for $350. I think I got this, I don't know, 150 bucks uh, a few years ago. So uh, twice the upfront cost, but if it lasts twice as long, I'm happy. Uh, in terms of um, the, the toner versus the inkjet, the toner cartridges, replacing these, these are gonna be about $85 or so a piece. Uh, it's a bit more expensive than inkjet, but this will last a lot longer. And like I said, if it's not gonna kill my my machine, I'll be much happier with it in the long run. Anyway, that's my uh, that's my initial setup and review, and I'll get back with you on uh, anything else I learn about it. Anyway, that's all I have on this uh, this video as well. This may be a two part video because of the unboxing and the and the install there. So uh, remember, full time, part time, anytime is a great time to RV. To like, share, and subscribe. Click the logo to the left.